<clears throat> what up, guys? Another day of hardcore Iron Man runs. So, uh, good news too. Grok was kind enough to invite me to his tester group, and we are going to be getting an early look at the 0 0.9 update. Yeah, they finally added the... Uh, check out these animations, guys, for the SIG 5.5.2. They're incredibly good. Very nice. I don't think this thing has any mods though, unfortunately. You can only put a G I can put a GL on it. Dude, those animations are so prime. The Ruger Hyper Beast. See, I, this is the shit I fucking hate, dude. I don't like seeing this shit in Stalker, bro. This is just like cringe, like fucking Tarkov M4, dude. Like, fucking gross, man. I don't like seeing this shit in the zone at all. It's just, it's fucking yucky, dude. Same thing with like this shit, too. Like, this M4 is not bad. Oh, no, not this one. This one's trash. So uh, this one. Really basic, cult classic, you know. Nice, nice gun. The only thing that irks me, though, is there's a dead frame in the walking loop. You can see it goes like this. It flicks. But everything else is really nice. The animations are crispy. Little mag bump, too, is nice. This, there's this fucking horrendous monster. So, yeah, we got this, this monstrosity. I don't know what the fuck this is, but... The new MP5. Gunslingers. Mint. 9mm. Oh, where's the 45? Yeah, it's this one. It's fucking 45. I think it's basically... Oh, no, it's different! Oh, bro, and it's got the straight mag. Dude, this thing is sexy, dude. Bro, this is rad. The Frasier. Dude, this is sick. The Raptor is fucking stupid, bro. Again, this is one of these, like, dumb, like, tactical guns I just don't like, man. It's like, I feel like this is so fucking overkill for the zone. What's that smoke coming off me, bro? <laughs> what? That, that loner bleeding so hot. Goodness. <laughs> oh, a snork. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, that was pretty crazy. Oh, there's another. Yeah, get the fuck out of here, buddy. Get jukes. I almost feel like the maps are too good when you uh, do the accessible zone off. Even though it is totally like RNG. Not sure how I feel about them. Another thing that makes all these Iron Man runs a lot less painless is these new animations for like the Taz and the Mac route, dude. It just makes the guns more fun to use. Even though they, they you know, they kind of suck. Using them feels good. Oh, dude, this guy just sending it. Fucking dumbass. Trying to be sneaky breaky on him, man.
Well, I mean, the key, the unbind in this is really easy. It's just R. Those animations are sick, though, right? For the jams. You just gotta get this thing fixed up. I wanted to kill these renegades here first because when I activate the mission to come kill them again, there's gonna be less of them. The reason why there's. Was that a survival kit? Wow. That's insanely good. Those are what you use when you're literally on, like, the brink of death. Like, if you're, like, incredibly close to dying. Because it's, like, it's basically a do-all med kit. They're pretty insane. Uh, I removed voiced actor. Because I personally... So, when I play Stalker... If I hear so much as a sound from Escape from Tarkov, I don't like it. Let alone, like, weapon models and clothing and shit like that. Because when I play Stalker, I want to see Stalker things and Stalker ref references. I don't... I don't want to see any Tarkov in my Stalker. You know what I mean? So I, I turn I turn that stuff off just because I really don't like it. Even if I could, uh, I would remove like certain weapons from spawning in the loot pools and spawning on NPCs and, and whatnot as well. Because there's just frankly a lot of guns that I, I really fucking hate. And I think uh, there's just a lot of bloat within Anomaly in general, with the amount of weapons in the game, let alone, like, adding mods on top of that. Not everybody's the same. Like, everybody wants, like, a single-player Tarkov, but for me, I think that means, like, not, I don't know, just porting shit directly over from EFD. I just don't think they really fit the, the game. Like, this Gunslinger model, like, fits perfectly, because the model and textures and everything were kind of made to fit, uh, you know, Call of Pripyat on and their graphics while not being like too high fidelity or too out of place. Well, that's actually a pretty sweet. This is the fastest we've upgraded from the Makarov. So that's uh, that's good for us. I feel like they should go in there. Go get him, boys. I believe in you. I'll, re I'll be right behind you. Sure. Did, did they already smoke that dude? Nice. I wonder if I can nail him with a slug from here. Oh, I nailed him, dude. Nice. Motherfucker. Motherfucker, he's tanky.
that car 98 or something back there it's gonna give me a hard time I hear like two more oh one of the clear skies is back up yes back up oh we fucking did it Honestly, it's that APS, too. The only reason we did that was because of the APS. This gun actually fucks in close range. Okay, bro. That was kind of delayed, man. I thought I'd be able to switch faster than that. Whew. No one shot me, but still, bro. Fucking... I clenched. Is Rave Hope cancelled? No. Why would it be? What made you think that? I mean, it's a mod. It's. I don't think they're going to cancel it. They've already put in so much work. They'll have to release something one day. We're pretty geared for an hour in. We got an APS. We got uh, light art. We got repair kits and stuff. This is actually nice. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here, you. Fuck you, zone. What the fuck is going on? Oh, shit. That is a whole squad of bandits. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck me. Oh, it's fucking mercenaries, dude. What the fuck? All the way down south? That's kind of fucked, honestly. See, dude, again, I, I, really, I really don't like the AI because, like... Those guys are right next to enemies. There's rookies on top of them. All of the mercenaries, as soon as the player was in the area, they're just like, all right, kill the player. Like, to me, that just, like, logically doesn't make any fucking sense. Why would they, why would they just turn and shoot me when they have enemies shooting them in the back? They probably hit me with the slug. Dude, if I had leather jacket, I, I would be dead right there, bro. <laughs> I don't see anything down there. Makes me wonder if it's like a side sucker or something. Definitely ran into them here before. Sick. Just not not it's uh, it's worse. Oh god, he killed it. Okay, thanks, fanatic. Oh, thank fuck the the bush actually broke line of sight though. Oh, did he walk into the anomaly? Oh my god. Oh, that was uh that was pretty sketch, chat. What's her? What the fuck? It's our first controller. Dude, I, I knew something. I knew something was up, bro. Oh, they're fucking eating grenades, bro.
Dude, they just killed Fnatic. What? Reload, dude! Oh, I killed one. Or Fnatic killed one. Bro, these are some fucking gooned out motherfucking bandits, bro. Both of them were in fucking exos. Bro, I... Dude, that was... There goes my AP rounds. Damn, poor Fnatic, bro. He fucking ate. He was a good companion for a while, man. He was honestly... He was dope. Dope. I wonder if his body's gonna get cleaned up or he's just always gonna stay here. Some bodies, like, don't disappear. Proper burial. <laughs> you know, whatever. Oh, go prone, fool. See, we go from, like, those shots... Uh, you know, like, taking, like, 40% of our HP. So now we're, you know, we're getting hit and we're taking, like, 10% damage from these guys. Makes everything a lot less scary, but the thing is, is a lot of people eventually die in Iron Man's from the people that have watched. It's eventually get to the point where you do have really good gear and you have really good armor on and, you know, a good gun. You can start really taking down... Uh, enemies much easier and you kind of get overconfident and that overconfidence will eventually get you because once you get equipped and like you're good at the game but like once you've gotten the gear dude, it makes a huge fucking difference in your ability to play and that's usually how Iron Man's go it's like the early game where we're at right now is the hardest part of an Iron Man every single time because the early game you die the fastest uh, you have nothing and it's, it's really fucking easy for you to get schwacked. And it, it still is easy to get killed in some situations in North, but it really depends on what situations you put yourself into and what you're equipped to handle. And that's kind of what stalker progression is all about and what makes it so fun. But this early game, especially with the Iron Man, dude, it's, uh, it's spicy, dude. You got to be really fucking careful. Like, even now that I got the suit on and, and whatnot, like... I'm a little bit more tanky, but dude, still, like, I can, I can get fucking whacked here if I'm not too careful. Can't get complacent. Right now we're kind of needing to get, like, a bigger rifle. We need, like, an SVT or a Mosin. I really would like to find an SVT. I am actually going to call it. We've been on for, like, 13 hours. We're going to call it good there, dude. I, I need to end on a good note uh, one of these streams. And Anyway, hey, good night, guys. Thanks for watching. That was a lot of fun. I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Take care. You guys enjoy the rest of your night. And uh, see you later today.